then we're all going to make a map together. We're going to save our map. Save as, and then navigate to the desktop. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to orient our map. So if you go to File up here, and come down to Page and Print Setup, which is right here, and you'll get this screen. And what we want to do today is to make ours a landscape. So we touch on landscape, and then we do one more thing. We come down here and we say scale map elements proportionally. And then your screen should look like this when you're done. All right, so now if you're like this, let's label the states. And you've done this before. You can right click on here. And you come down to the feature that says label. And now your states are labeled. Sometimes you want them labeled, sometimes you don't. OK, now we're going to do something that, that um, is pretty cool, is we're going to go to the Symbology tab. So you right click on this again, States, right, and go to Properties, which is down at the bottom. And you'll get this screen. And we'll go to the Symbology tab. We're going to pick Categories, which is right here. Click Categories. And then you'll have this picture up. So what we want to do is we want to add all the values of our state so that every state has a different color. So we hit Add All Values, and you'll get all this stuff. Add All Values. And then say OK. Now all the states have a different color. So you could stop right now, depending on how fast the kids are going and everything, and you could, ha you could do a lesson, on, you could do a lesson on, uh, on the states by using the identity key, if, for example. I could press on the identity button right here, and then I could go press on Colorado, and it tells me a bunch of stuff about Colorado. It tells me the population in 2004, the population in 2000, the population per square mile, how many white people, how many black people, how many American um, Indians, how many Asian, Hawaiian, how many males, how many females, and so forth. So they're, they're, that's showing your attribute table. So you could stop right there if you wanted to, depending on you know the, the kids that you have. Next step, let's use our magnifying tool now. And let's go to Colorado. Make a little square around Colorado. When you're done, your screen should be filled up with just Colorado. This next step is you're going to teach your kids some math and how to query information and how to isolate things so that they can have a better view of stuff. So we're going to do a query. So again. If you right click on the word states and you go down to properties, you're going to see this familiar window here that has all of these different choices for you. So this one, we're going to go to the definition query. And then down here is a little bar that says query builder. And that gets you to another screen that will show you how to do the query. So hit query builder. What we want to do is we want the state to be Colorado. So you double click on the word up here that says state underscore name. Double click on that. And notice it appears down here in your frame right here. When I double click on state name, it came down here. Well, I want the state name to be equal to Colorado. So I hit equal, and I get an equal sign. And then I go to this little button that says get, get unique values. I want to pick which state it is. Hey, at the last uh, one of these that we had, one of the people was from Kansas. She went off and did a whole thing on Kansas. I don't care I don't know what it is. OK, so then I say get unique values. And here they all are. So I'm going to double click on Colorado. And I have state name equals Colorado in your table of contents. And you double click on layers. And you're going to get this thing that says data frame properties when you double click on layers. So then you have a whole bunch of choices up here now. 
and you're going to go to the one that says, you're going to go to the tab that says data frame. And now on that data frame, you're going to see a little thing that says clip to shape down here. And you're going to click the thing that says enable. So click that, and, you'll see, and your screen will look like this. You're going to enable the clip. Then you have to specify what you want it to be clipped to. Right? Okay, so you say specify the shape. Hit that button, and it gives you a new one, the data frame clipping. Well, what we want to do here is we want to, not the curl, current visible extent, but the outline of features. So click the little thing that says outline of features. So somebody tell me, what are we going to clip it to? States. So very good. So go down and pick states off this little key here. Pick states and say OK. And now you have only the counties, Colorado. Let's go back to states and right click it. And let's turn off the labels because we don't, we don't want, everybody knows it's Colorado, so we don't need to label it Colorado anymore. And let's go to counties, and you should know how to do this now, and right click counties and turn the names on, for, use the labels for the counties. Now all our counties are labeled. We can actually show some data from your attribute table on here that will be pretty clear. So I picked Hispanic. You could pick anything you want. My kids, they always loved, they found my uh, block group, and we did block group, and they opened it up and got the information off of it, and they figured out that there was only two people in my entire neighborhood that were older than me. They thought that was the funniest thing on earth. <laughs> okay, go to counties, right-click on counties, go to properties, and we're going to go back to that familiar tab, the symbology tab. Symbology tab. Okay, when you're in the symbology tab, you have a bunch of choices. You've got single symbol, categories, quantities. Let's go to quantities and to graduated colors. So your little screen should look like this one up here. Graduated colors under quantities. Okay. So now we've got to figure out, well, what are we gonna what are we gonna look at? So we go to the value. And the value is nothing more than the stuff that's in your attribute table. So you click on values, and there's all the choices. I'm going to pick Hispanic. You guys can pick whatever you want. So when I hit Hispanic, I get this screen that looks like this. Right, and what we're going to do next is you're going to fiddle with it. You're, we're going to go to how many classes we have, and we're going to change our classes to not to 5, but to 10. We're going to make it to 10 instead of 5 classes. And as you get really good at this, you can really fiddle with that. <laughs> OK, and then you say OK. And look what we got. 